Um, we have Ghost of Tsushima uh, on the plates. The video based on the video game, the samurai film. Oh, wow! And Rainbow Six. Those are the three I'm yeah, working on. We need now. a good samurai movie. Uh, was the last time was a good. Sa- the last samurai. Check, with check, Tom if you Cruise. can check it, check out the game. Check out the game Ghost of Tsushima. It's one of the best looking games out there. But it's got a great Pull story. What, great what story. is it about? Uh, Jin Sakai and the Mongol invasion. Oh shit! Tsushima when the Mongols Island. invaded Japan, yeah, they had to stop in Tsushima Island. Japan was the only people that kept them out. Yeah, and it the was samurais uh, were the only people that they, like defeated the Mongols. They're they like, got ah, their asses this. kicked, but they yeah. stalled them long enough for bad weather to sink them in the in the kamikaze, the 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 typhoon that hit. This is it. oh wow, yeah, that's gotta, incredible. It's based on Kurosawa's cinematography and stuff. But look how good this looks! Holy shit! Again, one every award leaves. out there for 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 cinematography when was this made this is just a few years ago and we've been developing the script ever since which we have and we're working with sony right now to bring this to fruition. oh my god this is going to be incredible but a, a great storyline fantastic storyline wow this is amazing the graphics yeah oh some of, the, some of the best sword fights you'll see oh the jesus it's basically the birth of the first shinobi about how he has to, you know, be wow. something uh, less than a samurai, but more than anything else to, to save his people. This is incredible. Yeah, fantastic. I fantastic didn't even know story. it existed. Yeah, fantastic. Check it. I'm not a big game guy, but I love the story so much. I was like, I contacted Sony Go and Sony PlayStation Go. We got to do this. Like, we really have to do this. Yeah. Oh, that's a great idea for a film. Yeah. So between these guys and like what they got going on with Rainbow Six and Michael B. Jordan, I think one of those three will will build a few worlds and. I don't know about you guys, but when I heard this recent clip of an interview with Chad Stahelski, I got super excited. It's one thing to read interviews with a director and try to gauge their tone and attitude, and another to hear them actually speak publicly about what matters to them. And it's clear we have a very passionate creator overseeing this film. Someone we can feel confident will bring a well-deserved spotlight to the world of Ghost of Tsushima. Today I want to go over the basic points we've reached in the development timeline so far. Also speculate about where the film is right now, and where we may go from here. Back in December 2021, Stahelski did an interview where he stressed the difficulty of making a video game adaptation. Many adaptations have had a reputation of low quality over the years, so that even recent successes have trouble clearing that away. This is usually because of how immersive the original gaming experience is, as well as the non-linear plot progression, and ultimately the lack of knowledge that movie critics have of the medium. But Stahelski made two major points in this interview. First, he stressed that the game developers are having a strong hand in this project, and that presumably includes Sucker Punch, and not just Sony. Then he emphasized that this is going to take a long time. And with this being said, nine months after the announcement in March of that year, it's clear they had a long ways to go. In April 2022, it was announced that Takashi Dosher, an Asian American filmmaker, was going to write the script for Ghost of Tsushima. While details are scarce as to what his job entails, it's likely the adaptation of the game script into a film format, rather than a complete overhaul of the script. I mean, can you imagine some of the most memorable lines getting completely rewritten? I sincerely doubt that will be the intention here. Dosher's filmography is small, But I feel some big reasons he was added to the staff was his personal love of the game and the samurai genre, and also to benefit the project as a collaborative effort between Asians, Asian Americans, and non-Asian Americans. Sucker Punch is an American studio, and if they want to show that they care about the perspective of a culture distant from their own, they need that representation now even more than when they made the game itself. In August 2022, Stahelski expressed desire to make it a Japanese language film with an all-Japanese cast in an effort to make it as authentic as possible. While this is an interesting idea and would make for a very special collaboration with Japanese creators, I feel it wouldn't work in the long run. If we're going to have a Japanese cast, why not just get a Japanese director too and remove most of Sucker Punch's staff from participating? It would be the end of Stahelski's contribution to the project as we know it. Also, the majority of Ghost of Tsushima's cast wasn't Japanese at all, but rather a host of different Asian Americans who had English as a common language. If we even hope to recast some of the original actors and actresses in their roles, we have to leave it open to all Asians, 
and ultimately that will mean keeping it in English. Also from an economic point of view, expensive blockbusters will make the most money in North America if they are in English, let alone when adapting a story originally known in English. And lastly, writer Takashi Dosher has not done a professional film script in Japanese before, so even if he does speak the language, it may be unwise to hire him in such a critical role. The fact Chad Stahelski brought this up over a year into development goes to show that they were still in a brainstorming stage and not really much was done. All I can hope at this point is that they've come to a resolution, and my guess is that they will do two professionally written scripts, one in English and one for Japanese dub, and distinct from each other, just as the game originally did. In the months following, most of Chad Stahelski's time was focused on John Wick Chapter 4, and if any journalist asked him about the ghost movie, he usually said it was on the back burner and was waiting to take care of other projects. In March 2023, John Wick Chapter 4 finally premiered, and for those who may have been skeptical about Stahelski's ability to take on a project like Ghost, I hope it did a lot of good in swaying opinions. I found it a gorgeously shot movie, with huge attention to detail and the action set pieces themselves are crafted like artwork. While John Wick is certainly his most prized franchise, I couldn't help feel that Stahelski was using this movie as training for what he can accomplish next in the Ghost adaptation. Think of John Wick Chapter 4 as a portfolio, demonstrating choreography, staging, even scenery in preparation for an epic war drama involving samurai and assassins. With the John Wick press tour winding down, Stahelski's had a chance to go out and talk more specifically about his future projects. Ghost of Tsushima has come up many times, including the interview with Joe Rogan, and then an interview here in mid-June with comicbookmovie.com. Some of the things that caught my attention are here below. The characters in the story are definitely something I don't want to lose in any way. It's just the visuals I want to keep. It's just how do I pack that much information into a feature that can go on to other features or to a TV project or platform for that? How do we make a great two, two and a half hour movie out of this? Well, hearing this, I couldn't help feel the stress coming down on Stahelski right now. You can imagine the challenge looming ahead just by hearing him break it down like this. You can even feel how he laments not getting a chance to tell this in a longer story format, like a TV show. And yet he gives a hint that all of this could potentially expand into more than just a one-off movie. Imagine that. What if we do get some sort of spin-off TV show about Yuna, about Iki Island, or a further film adaptation of a sequel game? He's already thinking big, and Sony is too, apparently ever since they established their official film studio. Ghost of Tsushima was a huge success, and they're going to capitalize on it and turn it into a franchise as much as they can. At this point, a switch to a TV show series doesn't seem likely, even though I would have preferred this myself. But a two and a half hour screen time may get the main plot down, and the rest of the cast thrown in there for fan services' sake. A three-hour movie would increase the budget, but allow a little more time to see the side characters. We'll just have to see what kinds of risk Sony is willing to take on such a relatively new IP. This timeline of events poses many questions, and I feel we have a ways to go before anything substantial is announced. We still don't know what the official language of the movie will be, let alone who's going to act in it. Just an educated guess from me regarding action film development cycles, I could see this film coming out in the first half of 2025. The sequel game may come out earlier than the movie, but I could see Sony planning a back-to-back -back launch to build even bigger hype for both projects. So what do you think about how things stand right now? What's your hype level for the movie? I invite you all to give your takes in the comments section below. If you want me to do more update videos about the movie and the all but confirmed sequel game, let me know. For now, thanks for watching, and see you guys later. Take care.